Okay, so uh, part two of this video. So I've been sketching away now for about 20 minutes. Uh, so the last thing you saw me do was this uh, this guy with his six pack, his eight pack or whatever. And I said, take some ideas from these images that we've got here, that you've got in front of you. So I've done exactly what I'm asking you to do. So I started off doing this one here using the shape of the great white shark and I just uh, put it on its side just like this and I thought well that that's a nice shape uh, certainly a lot better than the the sort of fish shape that I did last week so that's that's based on the shark um, I did this one here this this bottle shape here with the perfume again just in a little part of the bottle and that was kind of loosely based on this leaf shape that we've got here um, I've done one just at the top here based on the, the shell um, and I've actually sort of started thinking about the name of the, the perfume that could go inside so I've just called it Spiral or we can, we can think of a different name later on but uh, that, that's just an idea. I've also done this one, now that shape there was based on the Gherkin building in London and I started drawing and I thought well that looks like a bullet especially when you start thinking about the top and how the top is going to come off so I've, I've started uh, thinking about labeling that one bullet. Uh, this kind of geometric one was loosely based on this design just here uh, but I've taken that idea and combined it with a cityscape and I've, I've done a little label here with a kind of a city building on it and I've started thinking about labeling that city. Um, what else have I done? Oh and I've done the um, pineapple one. Uh, I just love the shape of that pineapple and the top foliage of the pineapple. I don't think that's a particularly good drawing I'll be honest with you um, but that is obviously taken from the pineapple. So I've used kind of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those design ideas or those those pictures to help me with my design ideas. So that's your next stage, that's what I want you to do. I want you to do what I've started doing here. So don't just think about the shapes of the bottles anymore. Think about um, the reservoir of where the, the liquid is gonna be held. Is it gonna be, you remember I talked to you about this one down here, which I've nicked off an advert off television. Um, so on this bullet one, I've only got a little bit of a reservoir of body spray there, and I would imagine the bottom of this is all gonna be glass. So you need to do what I've started doing. So start thinking about details now. Start thinking about the shapes of the top, what the top's going to look like. Uh, start thinking about labels, start thinking about names. And you can start putting those on your design ideas. Uh, and again, I said this to you last week, but don't worry about overlapping things. You can see that I've drawn over the top of some of the design drawings that I did last week. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I want this A4 sheet to look busy, to look lively, to look as though you're experimenting. Um, try and get out of this habit of, oh, I've got to do a drawing there, then I move across, do another drawing, move across, do another drawing. No, just be, be loose with your freehand sketching designs. That's what this project is all about, getting you to start thinking about drawing in in a more free loose manner one last thing before i end this video um, if you look at this sheet here and this is what we'll move on to later this th these are not my drawings by the way um, but these are really nice design ideas and all of them look as though they've been made from glass and I'm going to give you a few hints and tips about how to do this but the very first thing you need to do if you look at these design ideas nearly all of the outsides of the bottle shapes have been colored in fairly thick black lines it's almost like doing an outline around the shapes so that just makes things stand out and I've started to do that a little bit with with my design ideas so don't be afraid to go back over them and really emphasize the outside shape and you can do this in um, pen as well as pencil normally I quite like sketching in pen actually it's just that I picked up this pencil quickly but this is just a, a technique to make your 
designs really stand off the page a little bit more. So that's quite a nice thing to do as well. So it's just really the outlines. It's none of the detail, none of the labels. It's really just the outlines of the shapes that you are going over and making them a little bit more bold. Let's do, um, let's do Mr. Six Pack. Now that bottle wouldn't be very steady, would it? Because we've got we've got this guy's um, how would you describe this part of his body? It's his thighs, isn't it? Going towards his thighs. So we we might need to put a bit of a leg just there, you know, just to make this bottle a bit more sturdy. So I'm just going to draw that in just there. Okay, and let's go around the top of the spray again just to make that stand out a little bit more. And hopefully you can see already just by doing that one, that one and that one, I've kind of already done it on that one, they're starting to zing out from the page. So pick your best ideas. Now you, you probably noticed that idea that I did last week. I'm sort of leaving that in the background now. I'm not too bothered about that, but I'm not going to rub it out. I'm just going to leave it there because it shows that I've been thinking. It shows that I've been experimenting with my design ideas. Okay, so that's part two of today's lesson, guys. You need to go away and start doing that. Um, and I will do a third video just in case you get on to this part here where you need to make things look like they're made from glass. Okay, see you soon.